Hi everyone, welcome to Cosmophoto and this week we're looking at a compact camera from the USSR made in the 1980s called the Fed 50. So the Fed 50 was made uh, from 1986 to 1996. It was kind of seen as a copy of the Olympus Trip 35 camera we covered in last week's video. The Fed 50 is part of a series of compact cameras that were made in Kharkiv in what's now Ukraine, what was then part of the USSR from the 1960s. It started with a, a camera called the Fed Micron, which was a, a copy of a Konica half frame camera. So this camera, you know, a little bit fatter than the Fed 50, pretty much the same lens but you would get 72 images on a roll of uh, 36 frame, 35 mil film. Um, half frame cameras were quite popular in the 1960s and 70s because they allowed you to get more images from uh, a roll of film. After the Fed Micron came the Micron 2, which was a full frame 35 millimeter compact um, with a, a really great 38 millimeter 2.8 lens. Um, it's the same lens that the Fed 50 uses. It's called the Indostar 81. It's an absolutely brilliant lens. It's one of the reasons why I'm talking about this camera this week. So why does this camera get called a trip copy? Well, one of the reasons is they look reasonably similar, uh, though the Fed is a, a little taller and not quite as long. Uh, but it, it shares with the trip this array of selenium cells um, which power the meter. Now what's good about this is it means you never have to pack batteries uh, for this camera. The Fed 50 was designed for a, a similar role as the Olympus Trip 35, the kind of camera that you'd take along to the beach, take away for summer holidays, places where you might not necessarily find uh, a stock of batteries in the local shop. Like the Olympus Trip 35, this is also a camera that's designed uh, for automatic operation. You set it on uh, the red A uh, that you find on the right hand side of the lens dial. It turns it into a completely automatic camera and by that I mean the Fed will choose both the aperture and the shutter speed. Unlike the Trip 35, you actually have a bunch of shutter speeds to choose from. Everything from 1 30th right up to 1 650th, which is kind of a strange shutter speed to have, but in bright light, pretty useful. The Fed 50 is a really clean and uncluttered camera. If you look at the top plate, you've got your rewind crank, uh, and that also tells you if the uh, the film is winding on properly. Got a little hot shoe here with its protective uh, protective cap here. Here's your wind on lever, your frame counter, and your all important shutter button. Just like the Trip 35, the secret weapon with this camera is the lens. The Indostar 81 is absolutely fantastic. Sharp, great color rendition, and it opens up to f2.8 so you can actually capture really nice portraits with this camera even though it looks like a fairly cheap and cheerful camera it's pretty versatile i've crunched the numbers and worked out that for every fed 50 made more than 100 trips were made so sort of one percent of the trips production numbers but still not a rare camera. Uh, the great thing about it is you can choose films up to 400 uh, ISO, uh, a bit like the trip, so more a, a sunny day camera. One thing to be aware of is this camera was made for the Soviet Union rather than uh, the West. So what you may find is the film speed indicator is set to a range uh, called GOST, GOST. That was the Soviet Union's version of ISO. And while it's broadly similar and not really an issue if you're using uh, 
negative film, black and white negative, color negative. It's about 90% of the value of ISO. So if you were shooting slide film, you might just want to bracket a little bit just to make sure that you're exposing properly. I reckon the Fed 50 is a camera that, that's really worth hunting for because like the trip, it's the kind of camera you can just throw in a bag uh, and you know take to the beach or you know take for a day trip somewhere. Uh, but you're gonna get really, really good results with it. Uh, like I said before, the lens is so sharp. The good thing about this camera is it's sort of giving you the, the trip's point of view, but from behind the Iron Curtain. <laughs>